welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. Here on my channel, I do talk about a variety of things. I talk about um, being a stay-at-home mom. I do have a seven-month-old. Um, I also am a military wife, so I do talk about our military lifestyle a little bit. I do a little bit of day-to-day -day vlogging. Um, I do some cooking videos, some budgeting tips, and then videos like today's, which is travel videos. Uh, my husband and I did live in Europe for a couple of years and we got to travel quite a bit. So I am going to do a series on travel here on my channel where I'll be giving you some information about where we traveled to, where we stayed, um, just some tips along the way. And uh, yeah, so today's video I'm going to be talking about our stay in Phuket, Thailand. Um, we actually did also stay in Bangkok, but that's going to be in my next video just because we did stay there about a week and a half so we did a lot during that time and I don't want this video to be too too long um, but when we did travel to Thailand we were living in Germany so we flew from Frankfurt Germany to Bangkok Thailand and then took a connecting flight to Phuket um, we did start our trip in Phuket and then we worked our way back to Bangkok before we went back home the flight from Germany to Thailand is about an 11 hour flight and then I want to say the connecting flight from Bangkok to Phuket is about another hour or so. Um, I do recommend that if you're taking a long flight like this, take it in the evening hours. That way you can wind down, relax, maybe fall asleep and when you wake up you'll be at your destination. That's what we try to do and that's what we did on this trip. Um, it kind of backfired on us a little bit because when we got to uh, Phuket it was already nighttime and dark and we took a shuttle from the airport uh, to Patong Beach. I don't remember exactly how long it was but I want to say it was about an hour and a half and the roads in Thailand are very small windy bumpy roads and uh, since it was already nighttime it was <laughs> dark out and a little bit sketch but we did make it to our hotel and our hotel on Patong Beach was amazing. We stayed at the Novotel Hotel. I'll link it down below. Uh, but they treat you like royalty while you're there. Um, when we got checked in, they gave us some wet towels. They gave us some water, a snack. Um, they checked us in. They gave us maps. They, you know, they gave us five-star treatment. Um, they took us up to our room. They unpacked our luggage for us. They gave us our robes and slippers. Um, so they really do treat you great at this hotel. Uh, it is beautiful. It has a couple of pools there. Um, if I have any pictures of us at the hotel, I'll insert them. Um, we didn't spend a lot of time at the hotel just because there's so much to do there. Patong is a heavily touristed area, so we did spend a lot of time doing all the um, attractions that are there. But yeah, while we were at the hotel, um, we did eat at a couple of the restaurants that they have there. We got room service like every other day because it's extremely inexpensive. I want to say when we were there, the exchange, the exchange rate was about $1 gets you about 35 baht. And so if we ordered room service, let's say we got two burgers, fries and drinks, um, it'd be under $10 for all of that. So even if you're on a budget, I would say definitely take advantage of all of those extras while you're in Thailand because it is extremely affordable. Um, but while we were there, we got to do quite a few things. One of the best days that we spent there, we went on an excursion. Uh, we went island hopping. Uh, we were able to go to Maya Bay Beach, which is the beach that comes out um, in the movie The Beach by Leonardo DiCaprio. I said the beach way too many times in that sentence, but um, we did go there. It was so beautiful. Unfortunately, they have closed down that beach now just because, um, unfortunately, tourists were leaving a lot of trash there and they're trying to get that ecosystem to regulate itself, so they have closed it down. Um, but don't worry if you go to Thailand, there are amazing beaches there. All the beaches that we went to were just stunning. So don't let that stop you from going. Just, just because you're no longer able to visit Maya Bay Beach, um, I don't think that that should deter you from going because like I said, Thailand is just beautiful and the beaches that they have there are amazing. So we got to go to um, Maya Bay Beach. We got to go to Monkey Island Beach 
and then two other beaches that I cannot remember the names of uh, but we spent all day just you know hopping from beach to beach uh, we did stop at one island where we had a um, huge buffet um, and we ate just there on the shore and it was so relaxing and beautiful um, I took this picture at that beach where we had the buffet um, and yeah it was just so beautiful there um, the fruit and the food is so delicious I if you can believe it or not had never had Thai food until I went to visit Thailand and let me tell you um, coming back to the States after eating Thai food in Thailand um, there are some places that are okay but uh, there's nothing like the real thing <laughs> um, but yeah so we had a great time while we were there uh, we got to go scuba diving um, we got to go like I said to see the monkey beach and um, when we did go scuba diving and uh, not scuba diving we went snorkeling um, I'm not a very good swimmer Sam are you excited because yeah. I am uh... I just asked for one of those um, floating vests so that I could enjoy my uh, snorkeling time instead of worrying about um, drowning or something. I really don't have a lot of stamina when it comes to swimming because like I said I'm not very good at it. I do know how to swim but um, I know that I can't swim for very long so I just pro tip get one of those uh, life vests and enjoy your time while you're there doing it instead of trying to fight the whole time to stay alive. Um, but yeah, so I'll insert some clips. We did have Tony's GoPro uh, while we were out there. So we did take some clips underwater and it really was beautiful to see all the fish and just all the creatures that live under the ocean. It was just so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'll insert a video of that. Um, while we went to the Monkey Island Beach, there were some monkeys that came out onto shore to visit with us. Um, our tour guides told us that they highly recommended for us not to get off the boat because although these monkeys are used to seeing tourists, they are still wild monkeys so they can attack. And I just took their advice because you're there to have fun, you're not there to get attacked by a monkey. So if you do go, I would say just stay away from them and enjoy your time, take some pictures of them. Um, one of the monkeys did go on to a neighboring boat and he actually took a soda from this guy and he started drinking the soda, it was so funny. Um, but yeah, so if you do get a chance to go to a monkey island beach, just let the monkeys be, watch them and <laughs> have fun on your trip. Uh, don't get attacked by a monkey. Um, like I said, we also did go to a couple other beaches where we just lounged around. Um, we did sunbathe a little bit. We just really relaxed while we were out there. Uh, so one of the other excursions that we got to go on was we got to visit uh, the Big Buddha in Phuket. Uh, we did hire a driver for the entire day just to take us around to different places. Um, it is very affordable there. I want to say it's equivalent to like what a taxi ride would cost you. Um, that's what we paid to have somebody drive us around all day um, so we did go ahead and do that uh, so he took us up to see the Big Buddha we went to Phuket uh, at the end of May and that's actually during monsoon season so it is really like rainy, hot, humid um, and I was wearing shorts and a tank top most of the time while we were there um, and unfortunately this backfired on me one of the days because we went to go visit the Big Buddha temple in Phuket and um, they you're not allowed to like show anything above your knees or your shoulders so when we got off the car this lady this Thai lady came over to me and was like telling me something anyways I understood that I wasn't wearing the right clothes so uh, they did lend me like this shawl and this like skirt thing. Um, I'll insert a picture. This is definitely not the outfit that I chose for myself, but it was what I was stuck with. Um, it was better than going back to the hotel and having to change. So I'm happy that they did have those things there. Um, I guess I'm not the only one that does this, but yeah, so I was wearing this like crazy outfit. 
Um, we did get to see some monks while we were there, which was very interesting. Um, we got to see them meditating and it was really just this very serene, beautiful experience um, because the Big Buddha is up on a mountain. I'm sure I have some pictures, so I will insert some here for you to see. It's really beautiful looking out from the Big Buddha temple out just into Thailand, um, out into the islands there. Uh, It was really life-changing just to see how people live in this country and how different it is from our own. So that was a very beautiful experience. I'm happy that we got to go see that. Um, one of the other days that we were there, um, which actually this is like complete 360, we got to go see the Big Buddha and we also got to go see um, some tigers. <laughs> Me and Jen are about to pet this big ass tiger. Maybe how do you feel? Really scared. <laughs> Me too. In person, close up, um, we went to Tiger Kingdom. Uh, they do have one in Phuket, and I believe that they have one in Bangkok. Um, but I'll link their website down below if you want to check it out. Uh, we went and saw the big full grown tigers, which was very, very scary. Um, unfortunately for Tony, I all the pictures that I took of him are blurry because I was shaking. Um, I feel so bad because he doesn't have any nice pictures of him with tigers, but I was terrified. Um, and rightfully so, these uh, the tigers are so much bigger once you're like standing next to them versus when you're like looking at them from a zoo window or something like that. Actually being able to sit down next to them and touch them it's just very, very intimidating. I really don't know what I was expecting, but their fur is very coarse, it's very rough. Um, I did get to pet them. I have some pictures that Tony took. Thankfully, they're clear pictures. Um, sorry, babe. I really wish I had gotten better pictures of Tony with the tigers, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> if we were to go back, um, in hindsight, I would let Tony go with the big tigers like he wanted to and I would just pay the extra money to go and play with the cubs. So yeah, if you do want to experience um, petting a tiger and you're kind of scared like I was, I would definitely recommend um, going and paying more to see the little cubs or maybe the mid-sized tigers. Um, like I said, we did go and see the larger ones or the largest ones that they had there, which were the full grown ones. Um, but they do have other options. So that was also very interesting, very exciting. And um, if I could do it again, I would uh, go see them. But like I said, I would go see the smaller tigers. Other than that, while we were there, we got to spend a lot of time just walking around, um, talking to locals. We went to a couple markets. Um, well, actually, we went to markets like every day. Um, we did go to one of the markets where they have, you know, just like food stands. Tony really does like to try different food and food from the local culture and we had seen that they do have um, like fried uh, insects at a lot of these markets and we did see them. So once we were there and we saw all the fried insects, um, unfortunately they were like just there was a lot of flies flying around and landing on them and I know it's crazy that uh, he didn't want to eat like a fried insect because another insect was landing on it but I mean that was the logic that he had and I was definitely okay with that. I didn't want to eat any insects so I don't blame him for changing his mind. Um, so he didn't do that but um, there at that same like area they had uh, some fried foods, they had um, just like different things that you could get like on a stick like pork on a stick, chicken on a stick, different things like that.
um, they had a lot of fresh fruit and um, they did have um, these areas where they would make any fruit mixture that you wanted into like a juice and um, I did try jackfruit or we did try jackfruit uh, jackfruit is this fruit that looks kind of like a melon um, it's a little bit longer and it has like these little spikes on it I'll insert a picture of it it's really hard to uh, for me to describe but the crazy thing about this fruit is that a lot of people in Thailand eat it but it is illegal or it's like against the law to take it onto public transportation because it smells very pungent it has a very very distinct smell to it um i definitely did not like how it smelled tony did not like how it smelled or tasted um the taste was okay to me uh, i have seen jackfruit uh, sold at my local kroger so if you are interested in trying it out and you're not ready to go to thailand right now i'm sure that you can find it um, at one of your local stores and whenever it's in season and just try it then uh, but be warned it does smell really bad so I would probably cut it open outside try it outside and then just throw it away <laughs> if you're not gonna eat it um, but yeah so we did get to try a lot of local cuisine um, some local fruits and um, I really enjoyed all my time there I oh I don't want to forget to mention my favorite or one of my favorite things that we got to do there I was able to spend some time with a baby elephant for some reason most of my outfits don't have pockets so I kept having to ask Tony for more money I must have bought this elephant about 30 bananas or so because she was just the cutest thing ever she was just I was having the time of my life with her and I guess because I was feeding her she was having the time of her life with me and it really was so amazing to interact with this beautiful elephant she was just the sweetest thing ever and um, elephants are just such beautiful animals they're so sweet and they just I don't know elephants have a very special place in my heart so um, I really enjoyed spending time with um, the elephant while I was there and um, and we got to see a couple elephants while we were there but this one baby elephant really just oh my gosh I love her I wish I could go back and visit um, but yeah uh, we got to do quite a few things while we were there um, interacting with elephants tigers we got to see like a snake show um, we got to do the island hopping excursion there's this one strip in Patong that has like a lot of markets and restaurants and stuff like that I'll insert the name here I can't remember it um, but we did go there and a lot of different markets and we got to haggle with the locals for the hotel was the Jung Sailan Mall um, it, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong but um, it was called the Jung Sailan Mall and um, we went there probably like five or six times in the week that we were there um, because they have like a lot of shopping there and around that area and our our hotel actually does a shuttle there a couple of times a day back and forth so we could just go for free um, like get a free ride into town um, so yeah while we were there one of the days um, I finally talked Tony into getting a massage Tony really wanted to spend you know every minute just discovering new things and I really wanted to get a Thai massage so I finally convinced him on one of the days and I'm so happy I did um, we decided to get the massage at the mall is uh, basically on every single street in Thailand you're gonna find a couple um, massage parlors just because like I said Patong Beach is very touristy um, and I didn't really want to get a massage from one of those places just because um, usually the ladies that give the massages are like standing outside on the street and as you walk by they'll ask you if you want a massage and I don't know why it seemed like a little sketch to me I don't know maybe I'm weird but um, we decided to get it done at the mall just because the place was like extremely nice and clean basically um, what they did for us was they took us back they washed our feet for us um, they gave us a robe and slippers they took us to a private area and we got to stay together the entire time and they gave us a foot massage which is basically like from your knees down which was amazing because we had been walking around so much um, I highly recommend that you do this if you go to Thailand get a Thai massage at least like once a day because it is so inexpensive 
Um, and I know I keep saying the word inexpensive, but it really is so inexpensive. It is so affordable. Um, I want to say we paid about $10 each for an hour-long massage. So definitely, um, if you're there, take advantage of it. Um, they did give us that massage um, basically from our knees down to our toes. And then the last 10 minutes, they did massage our neck, shoulders, and back. So that was really awesome. And once they were all done, they wrapped us up in some towels. Um, we were basically like little burritos in these warm towels. And then um, after a couple of minutes, they came back, unwrapped us. Um, they took us to an area where we could put our shoes on. We could drink some coconut water and relax a little bit. And then we could leave whenever we wanted. So that was really awesome. Um, I highly, highly recommend that if you go to Thailand to get at least one massage a day. Uh, you will not regret it, trust me. So also while we were so also while we were in Thailand, we had to do a lot of haggling. Um, of course, for food and stuff like that, you you're not gonna haggle. It's just the price that they say it is. That's what you pay. Um, but for any type of souvenirs and stuff like that, um, you do want to haggle just because from from our experience, you never pay the price that it says on the item. You always want to haggle because you can usually pay half as much as whatever the item says it costs. Um, so yeah, and if you don't like haggling, um, you know, just take some extra money. Like I said, this uh, everything in this country is very inexpensive when compared to traveling in Europe or the United States. So if money is not an issue for you that, and you don't like haggling, then don't. Um, Leave a comment down below if you want some tips on how to haggle how to get a bargain, um, negotiating tips, stuff like that. Uh, if you do want to see a video on that, just leave a comment saying that you do and I'll definitely make one. Um, but yeah, while we were there, we did go to a lot of markets where we were haggling um, just for souvenirs and stuff like that. We usually don't buy too many souvenirs just because we just like to spend our time experiencing the culture, experiencing the cuisine, experiencing you know just actually going out and doing things but our trip to thailand was an exception um, we still didn't bring back very many things but um, we did shop a little bit just because we don't know if we'll, we will ever be able to go back there i hope we do um, but now that we have our son you know it's going to be a little bit more difficult to travel across continents but um, you never know but yeah i think that that covers just about everything from our time in phuket if you have any questions or you just want to say hi, please leave a comment down below. Uh, but thank you for watching. Bye.